welcome back so today I have another DIY for you if you guys are interested just keep on watching first I'm going to be starting off with these little storage containers from the Dollar Tree I'm just going to be setting the drawers aside I won't be using them for this DIY right here I'm just using my soldering iron to make a hole for the top of my vase Now I'm going in with my hot glue gun, but if you would like to, use a more permanent glue like E6000. Guys, I picked up this faux mirror sheet from Amazon, and I'm going to be using this to create my mirrored sides. And what I love about this paper is it already has a grid in the back, so it makes for easy cutting. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you'll receive updates whenever I post a video. And now I'll be going in with this tray that I picked up from Dollar Tree as well. And what I'm going to do to remove the words off of the tray is just use a little bit of nail polish remover. Right here I'm just adding some glue so that I can add the base. And then to add just a little bit more decoration, I'm just going in with that same mirror paper. For my next DIY, I'll be going in with this lampshade from e Mark. and these large gemstones from e Mark. I'll also be using four of these crystal robes from e Mark. So you'll need two robes for each lamp. Alright guys, so now it's time for me to disassemble my rope. So what I did here was just disassemble each chain at the sixth gemstone, leaving one ring at each end of my rope. That way I would have room to hang my rope as well as add the larger gemstone at the end. For the second row I did, I counted out five gemstones, leaving again that ring at both ends so that I was able to attach it as well as add my gemstone. love about this shade is that it already has holes in it so that you can decorate them however you like. What I'm using to hold my shade in place is just the stand that comes with these shades if you were going to use them for a party or a wedding or something like that. So they do come with additional stands if you don't want to use them for a lamp like I am. this is what they look like on the stands once I have completed them oh my goodness I'm so happy with the way these turned out okay so now I need to prepare my room for my new lamps what I'll be doing is removing the old wall sconces that I made last summer and replacing them with my lamps so I'm gonna also put up some mirrors as well 
So this is what sparked this whole kind of mini renovation of my bedroom. Well, I found these mirrors at Walmart on clearance for $15. I had my husband hang them up for me. Guys, so this lamp actually came with all the hardware that you needed. So, this is the base. And you will not believe that I picked this up for $9 at Ollie's. So, if you guys have Ollie's in your area, definitely... Go check them out. And so, yeah, $9. I don't think you can beat that for getting the hardware and everything for the lampshade. this little video if you have don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already as well as hitting the notification bell and I'll see you guys next time bye guys